Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll talk about Laravel prompts which used for writing commands and displaying it in user friendly uh, forms or UI like this and I will show you with prompts and without prompts example so here I have this command and I write it in normal way which is the traditional way for writing commands and here is the result I am saying choice right and then according to the choice user will be create or listing his to do lists and here my database right let's truncate it now i will run my command which we artisan up list my to do's as we can see here from this and i here i have here my choices which can be zero or one or you can also move up or down to select right so i will select create new to do and according to selection i will get this input which is the title of my to do as we can see here in case of create new to do choice I will ask user for enter the to do title and by default the value is my to do after that it will be created to our database so I will say first task and task has been created then return back to our database and check as we can see here first task and by default status is active okay now let's try with another choice I run the same command again and I will select one for listing my to do's and as we can see here select to toggle and I will select one and I am dumping the value here right and now let's add done retrying again redo it again one and okay I will select one okay and so let's create another one for selecting multiple I will create zero and I will say second created now let's try to list and here I have two to do's here and I will say one and two as we can see two have been selected successfully now let's make it in a beautiful way or let's improve this UI instead of uh, writing it in programmatic way like arrays and so on by using the prompts package firstly you need to install it and it's super easy now I have created this command the prompt version and I will show you the difference between it and the traditional way so here if you use prompt instead of using a choice there is a method called select and don't forget we must import it use function from prompts namespace right and we have also the first parameter is the question and we have here our options right now let's run this command here the same command and as we can see here is the difference if I do the same using here this is traditional way actually this one is better you can switch using arrows here so I will say create new to do right and now it's done let's continue and instead of here let's check instead of ask method in traditional way there is a method called text which asks user to have input or enter anything and by default it has parameter here is my to do and they have also extra parameter here is required and I set it to true right and in case of creating it will create like this in a normal way so here is that this one is a new version using text and don't forget we must import it also right so now let's try I will rerun it again create new to do and by default as we can see my to do which comes from here and let's remove it I will say third here task has been created back and it check and we have third here right and for multi choice instead of using a choice and setting the multiple true we can use multi select directly as we can see and I will say select to toggle and I am selecting all to do's and the blocking the index is id and the value is title so i will retry it again i will say create new one and i will say force task has been created i will say list this time and now we can see the difference you can see the listing here and this one is better right you can select multiple by using space as a suggestion and I select the first and third which are the one and three 
hit enter and as we can see here is a selected value unlike this one so if i select one and three it returns the keys or values always which is a little bit hard to handle the id in the traditional way also it has some extra improvements like maybe tables and progress progress bars lists try tables actually and here i will take it in the beginning right i'm listing the table with row name and email let's check it the view of it the first parameter must be array so okay i will say here to array back and check as we can see name email and here is the users that i have in my database and now application works correctly i will select all of them and now it's done so let's instead of this done i would say free palestine free palestine history again list select and as you can see free palestine yeah that's it if you found it useful support me by clicking on lecture and subscribe see you next video